All right. We are back with the conclusion of season three. And what a shit fucking ending to the, uh, to the season it was. To preface, we did record during Thanksgiving week to put one out. Um, in that recording, had we posted that one, I would have beat Joe by one point. And Joe would have been this season's biggest loser. Um, due to some family things, I did not have time to edit that and get it out. So we just said, I ah, will scratch it. We'll come back this last week, pick a couple bowl game or pick a couple um, conference championship games and jump into it. And I got shafted. Um, I picked me and Joe were Joe was down one point to me going into this week. I decided to I don't know why I picked two games separate of him. I picked the Sixers over the Celtics because basketball is just so volatile. Um, and it would have been a great pick had either one of their stars played. Joel sat, um, which looked like he might when we were filming Wednesday because he was missing the game that night. I did not know that Tyrese Maxey was not going to play, and that really fucked me because the Sixers beat a Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey-less 76ers Celtics. by six. 125 to 119. So you put either one of them guys in there, feel pretty confident they won. And then the NFL is even worse this year. Um, did yeah. I think the Niners had a good chance to win that game? I did. Did I think the Niners were going to beat them by 30, like when they shafted the Cowboys? No, I didn't. Um, and that was tough. So I ended up losing this season. Um, <laughs> on technicality, really. But, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take my loss. And I'll take my loss like a man. So. From from worst to first, your boy came out on top and got the dub. <laughs> it was um, we'll, yeah. take sec- we'll take second. It was the closest season we have had to date, though. The final. It was standings. everybody's. It was anybody's game going into the last week. I finished in first with thirty six points this season. Jack and Joe were tied for second. Ended up with thirty points, and Zach coming up the rear just, just. I mean, literally by the, a point by, by the. A point. Slimmest of margins at 29. So, a point. Um, but. Really tough, but. We have decided the biggest loser's punishment. Here in about three weeks, the guys will be taking a trip to Orlando, Florida. Miami. Miami. It, it is Miami? Hard Rock to Miami, yes. dumbass. Um, okay, I was thinking Orlando. We're taking a trip to Miami, Florida and Hard Rock Stadium. We're going to the Orange Bowl, Georgia against Florida State. His punishment is he has to walk around the stadium in an Alabama jersey and basically just piss harass off, people. harass Georgia and Florida State fans for both for both getting snubbed out of the playoffs. There's no two bigger hater, haters of the Crimson Tide right now than than Florida State and uh, and Georgia fans, and we're gonna get a we're gonna get a lot of good reactions to uh, him yelling "Roll Tide" at a couple angry Seminole and don't give a fans. piss about nothing but the Tide. Let me tell y'all something. I can't stand Alabama. There's three teams in four teams in all of professional sports that will always and forever have my hatred. The New York Mets, the New York Knicks, Alabama Crimson Tide, and the New Orleans Saints. Um, Let me tell you how bad I hated this punishment. Their first idea was to make me get a tattoo. All right? The tattoo was... Was it Sid the Sloth, no, Joe? The, it was the Ice Age Squirrel. It was the Squirrel. The Ice Age Scratch? Squirrel Scratch. Scratch. on my inner thigh right here with his hand reaching up towards... And y'all, it, can, y'all can guess the rest. Um, his favorite snack. I hate this, this idea so much. I opted for the tattoo. If the punishment was you've got two to choose from and I got to pick, I was going to go get the tattoo. I'm not even going to lie because walking around two, two teams that just got snubbed for the Crimson Tide, in a Crimson Tide jersey, having to look at people in the face and say, I don't give a piss about nothing but the Tide. Lank, baby, Lank. Is, uh... <laughs> yeah. Saban's Kirby's daddy. I'm not excited, to say the least. Um, I'm not excited. Like I said, I would have much rather got the tattoo. Overruled. If that tells you how much I hate this one. Um, it will be the first filmed punishment for us so far in the history of FTS... Somehow Lance skated by without a punishment in both seasons. So Talent. as soon as he loses a season, he's going to get triple punished. triple punished. Yeah, it's going to be bad. So he better hope he stays 
in first. Look, I'm ready for the next season. Um, it'll be a lot more interesting. It'll be a lot harder, I think, for all of us to pick. The NBA is very volatile. Yeah. It's very hard to pick the winner of an NBA game. Um, we will have a little bit more. We will have a little bit of college football left in the Full season. in the fourth season of Pick'em. Um, we'll also have a little bit the, of the end NFL. of the NFL and then into the NFL playoffs, which will be fun to pick. Um, and then NHL. we'll have NHL, which we all Love. got in. We got into more last season, especially once we started adding it to picks. We definitely watch more games. Still need to pick a team. And it's more accessible now to us than it you know, was in years past now that you don't have to have like NHL. It's like Ice Pass. Center Ice. Center Ice. Center Ice. You now, you know, they play hockey on like regular sports channels. So we'll get into that a little bit more. Um, Golf comes back around February, I think. February, March. March. Uh, Um, uh, No. There's the end of January is when the waste management is. So Yeah. So we'll have that as well. So we've got some cool things coming up for season four. We're really going to ramp it up. Um, Looking like we might even be filming season four in a new spot. So stay tuned for that as well. Um, but yes, the boys have picked my punishment. It literally is making my skin crawl right now thinking about it. I absolutely hate it. Um, nothing is going to make me more mad. Just putting the jersey on to begin with, um, your hat too, don't will worry. piss me off. And then I got to walk around and act like I'm a Bama fan to these poor fans that were denied their entry into the college football playoff because everyone on that committee bows the knee to Nick Saban. We're going to so. get you one of them Bear Bryant hats. Too. <laughs> I'm not wearing that fucking shit. Yeah, you should get him a Nick Saban headset to wear around too. Yeah, you got. We're gonna get you decked out. It's a punishment. We're putting you in a full uniform, pants, cleats, helmet, a Henry Ruggs jersey. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, if I live to see the next day, um, you guys will get a great punishment, and I will have to live with that ridicule the rest of my life. I'm. I'm. I might get murked. Uh, in Miami, though, by some of these fans. So, if you guys know of any good security details, please let me know. We'll go get Jack Doherty security. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm not going to get into that. I saw something the other day. That shit cracked me up. Um, bro has got fucking two, two taller versions of Vince Wilfork protecting him at all times. Just the size of dinner plates. Yeah, dude. Shit's hilarious. But... Yeah, that's going to be the punishment. Uh, it will be uploaded to the YouTube. We'll clip it up and put it on TikTok and Instagram and all that good shit. So you guys will have a blast with this, I'm sure. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance to any of y'all, if y'all do watch it, that see me at the Florida State-Georgia game. I'm sincerely sorry. Next year, I'll do better. Um, won't be next season's loser. We're going to we're gonna come right. We're going to come prepared. We're not going to let this happen to us again. Um, we're winners over here, and this this year, you know, we just we got called on a down year. Um, so the program, we're gonna look to make some inner changes, um, some changes with the staff and uh, and the players. And we're we're gonna get back right next season. We're gonna I'm gonna bring y'all some some wins. We're coming with that winners mentality. We're coming for it next year, but uh, this punishment is gonna break him. Yeah, I'm not excited. <laughs> can we dude. get a can we get a roll tide before you sign up? No, fuck you. That's, a, that's all you're going to get. The punishment doesn't start for like 27 more, 25 more days. Roll tide, baby. 24 tide. days. Y'all go fuck yourselves. All right. That's the punishment. Uh, we're going to start up week or uh, season four, I believe, next week. Bowl season. Yeah, so bowl season will start with season four next week. Um, did want to try and get the punishment out before, but you know, the guys came up with a good one. I'll take my loss like a man. And we do have to wait a few weeks before the orange bowl, um, is here. So that will be uploaded shortly after we film it in Miami. Um, and season four will start next week and it'll be every Friday morning. I do believe unless anything changes since we won't have as much college football picking, uh, moving forward might change it up a little bit, just depending on you know, where games fall, I guess. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on uh, and, you know, what the guys came up with. I think you guys are going to get a fucking kick out of this. I really do. Um, as a Georgia fan, this one hurts, but as just somebody who enjoys making good content for you guys to watch, I think you guys are really going to get a fucking kick out of this. So, um, 
yeah, stay tuned. All of that's coming up soon. This will be out this Friday, so check it out this Friday. Let us know what you think of the punishment, and uh, we will see you guys next week when we start up Season 4. We appreciate you tuning in. Peace.